Okay guys, this week we are getting everything ready because we have plans to take this van to countries she has never been to before. But in typical Keely and Philly fashion, it's obviously not going very well. Well, that's it. That didn't really go to plan, did it? To be honest, it's just one of those days where nothing seems to be going right. The truth is we don't even know if this van's going to be fixable before our ferry. This is not how we wanted to end this video. This means we can't leave. Oh, guys. So let's rewind a few days to before it all started going wrong. And now we're probably going to have to cancel everything. friggin' hot in this van right now. In fact, it was so hot last night that Philly ditched me and went and slept inside my parents' house. And uh, turns out I kinda need Philly to keep me accountable because I clearly have zero self-control and I stayed up till after 4 a.m. watching TV. So fingers crossed he slept better than me because I'm really hot, I'm very tired. But let's get a coffee and then talk about all the plans and things that we have to sort out. Ooh. This van is absolute carnage right now, guys. Let's be honest. I mean, it's an absolute dump. Philly will be very distressed to see the fact that I didn't move anything off the bed and just kept it a tip. Can you believe that we've been in Ireland for like three months now? We were coming home for MOT and to see family two weeks max, somehow it's three months later. Every time we think we're ready to leave, something else happens, something gets postponed, we're waiting for something. And it's just been like one delay after another, after another. And now three months later, the time has finally come where we we're not actually ready to leave, loads of stuff still isn't sorted, but we've decided we're just drawing a line in the sand and we're gonna be leaving here in four days time. I've just had to put my hair up, it's too hot, it's too hot. How is it this hot in Ireland? This is one of the reasons why we've completely changed our travel plans going forward because um, it turns out we really can't cope in this heat at all. But more about our new travel plans in a bit. Right now, the coffee's about to brew, I'm gonna get Philly and uh, we're gonna have to start getting some stuff done. Oh, sugar, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I didn't know it had started coming out yet. I thought that was just gonna be a subtle little sexy spew. <laughs> Coffee's up. Oh gosh, it's bright guys. There's the main man, the main man. It's too sunny. I'm putting this back up. It's too hot, Philly. It's too hot, I take it back. Oh, you beast. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Northern Ireland is having a heat wave. Yeah, what is that brutal. about? These are words that have never been uttered before. <laughs> so much crap. So much crap everywhere. Everywhere. Have you filled everybody in? On what? On um, what's happening? Dunno. <laughs> what's, what's happening? <laughs> okay, guys, we're leaving. We are leaving this country and going elsewhere. Finally. Finally. But before we do that, we have a lot of stuff to do in this van. So luckily I can already check off the first thing on the list, which is sorting out Philly's passport documents. Because we're dual nationality, we can both get British and Irish passports. And having Irish passports would mean we do not need to worry about the Schengen visa or the 90 days or any of that. It's proven quite difficult because we don't actually have an address and we don't have any bills to prove where we live. But we think we've got a little hack that is hopefully gonna be accepted, which is online banking through Revolut. It's really easy to change your address on it so that you can get enough documents to line up at one place to apply for the passport. So we've just sent off all the documents, fingers crossed it will get approved and we won't have to worry about Schengen. But right now, we're just focused on getting back on the road. So we gotta get through this list. Do you ever get those days where you feel quite lethargic and you just find it really hard and such a struggle to start anything? It's one of those days. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna start tidying in a minute. You haven't I'm started just... and you're having a break? <laughs> okay, now I'm just procrastinating from starting as Keely munches a cookie. I'm finished, I'm ready, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ow. <laughs> What are we doing? Kaylee gets in these notions like all the time that she wants to re-sand and re-oil our countertop and I'm like, you don't need to, it's fine. And then all of a sudden you find yourself ripping the sink in the hall out. <laughs> Boop. Look how easy that was. 
so easy, but now you have to sand it and re-oil it. Yeah. These are not the type of jobs I like. See building stuff, making stuff, assembling things. I like that kind of stuff. But see treating things, any sort of maintenance, I'm, I'm out. Okay, so usually when I'm doing this, I would be doing like a real proper anal job and making sure I've sanded it the full way back. But the truth is this time, I'm basically just looking to do a bit of a top up and give it a bit of richness back. That's the plan, guys. Eight hours later. Oh, okay. Oh, don't spill it everywhere. Don't spill it everywhere. Oh. Yeah. Random job that didn't really need done, but I decided I wanted to do it anyway. <laughs> Check that off the list. Good morning, guys. I slept in the house last night again because the van is just so damn hot. Uh, I just can't get it with that, so you know, if I've got the opportunity to be comfortable, I'm gonna take it. Kaylee decided to sleep in the van, so we'll see if she's still alive or if she's gassed out with those fumes. You're alive. Am I? <laughs> How are you sleep? I really missed you. I know, I don't like sleeping apart. Me neither, not for me. I put the kitchen back together. So Kaylee had to run off. She had a doctor's appointment that she almost forgot about. So it looks like it's just me and you guys. You know when you try to tidy a room in your house and it just kind of gets worse before it gets better? That's the phase that we're in right now. So, a lot of you know that Kaylee has epilepsy. To keep her driving license up to date, she has to get a doctor's letter every three years. So she's gonna go and do that this morning while I take Martha to the mechanic. Alright, I've just arrived to see the mechanic and while I wait to talk to him, I thought I would talk to you guys and let you know what's actually wrong with the van. This problem has happened over the last few years. When we drive for a long time, like three hours plus, or on a really hot day, the turbo will randomly stop working. So we're just kind of chugging along at like 30 mile an hour, which isn't ideal. But we've never been close to a mechanic when it happened. And then the turbo just kicks back in and we're like, ah, it's fine again. Before we leave this time, we need to get that fixed. I've Googled it so many times, but there's like a thousand different things it can be. So fingers crossed. Many hours later. All right, so I'm still at the mechanic. It's been a while. Uh, we took it for a test drive and thankfully the problem came up. The turbo didn't kick in. So we were able to try and diagnose something. So we're going to take it over the pit, do the, the whole process of elimination. But uh, on a brighter note, look who's here. Yay! She came to visit me. Yeah, I did. In my van. Because I was lonely. <laughs> and right now, I am just doing some examiner marking. If you've been with us since this time last year, you'll know that every summer I mark GCSE math and physics papers. But then the good thing is, guys, come September, I'll get a nice big paycheck and then we can fly somewhere fun. <laughs> yeah. I love how you're talking about September when we don't even know what we're doing next week. We kind of have a little skeleton plan, like a little idea, but mm -hmm. we'll fill you in after the van gets fixed. Yeah. Who knows when that's gonna be. Today. Yes. Give me those vibes. Send those vibes <laughs> into the van. Oh. Still at the mechanic. Another thing to add to the list of things that we want to do before we go is change one of our cigarette lighters to a USB port. I just have to take the other one out, snip the wires and plug it in and hopefully it'll work. Check it out guys, we have two working cigarette lighters and one is now a USB port. Which is awesome because we got sent this car puride so screen thing. Basically, thank you so much car puride for sending it because guys, it's got a reversing cam, which you know since we were in Japan, I've wanted a reversing cam because I'm sick of getting out and wagging you back. So now that we've got an actual working cigarette lighter, we can get it installed. Yay, check this out. 
That's tiny. It's a little like night vision camera. That is gonna go where our number plate is. And then I'm gonna wire this through the van and out the top here so we can plug it in. This is the long wire that has to go right across the van to the back. So I've got this length of draft proofing. And I'm hoping that, that I'll just be able to slide it down like uh, between the insulation and our ceiling cladding. I was gonna try and find it there and I put my finger right on it the first time, but I'm not sure it's gonna reach. I think these are designed for cars. It's uh, almost 5 p.m. and we're still at the garage. So the diagnostics for trying to figure out what is wrong with Martha is taking quite a while. She's not like showing telltale signs of anything. This isn't how we've seen this day going. We really hoped that this van would be fixed, but the truth is we don't even know if this van's gonna be fixable before our ferry. So that's a bit of a stress fest. Also, on top of that, the reversing cam cable doesn't reach the back of the van. Clearly designed for cars, should have been in the name Car Puride, but we'll see if we can figure out that later. But right now, stuff just ain't going to plan, guys. It's just not going to plan. See you later. Oh dear. Well, that's it. That didn't really go to plan, did it? Full day. And Martha is still there. Oh, guys. Back to the garage. Back to the garage. I feel just uh, like a bit of a loose end right now. Yeah, let's let's go get our girl. We left her last night, like with bits hanging out of her. The more I inspected it, the more things seemed to unravel. I think it's an electrical issue now. Mm -hmm. So basically we're going back this morning because we need to be in the van and they're going to track all the wires and see what they can find. Okay, so Philly's cousins are really great mechanics. So they're absolutely flat out all the time, which is why we've had to come back here today because unless we sit on top of them, unless we sit on the joys of vlogging at the mechanic garage. Basically, there's no way it'll get done unless we're here. Okay, I have to go because I've got tuition and it's far too noisy for me to have a lesson in here. So I'm gonna leave Philly with these guys and fingers crossed, next time I see him, we've got a fixed van. <laughs> van <laughs> hello Are you, is this van fixed okay so what was wrong with it okay so my car technical speak is going to be way out of whack here but it was the egr valve which stands for exhaust gas recirculation valve Aww. it's working so far fingers crossed i'm just hoping that this is not going to be like a link in a chain now that that's fixed, then what, what caused that issue, you know? <laughs> and then you fix that thing, and it's like, okay, what caused that one? Really, our van's fixed. Our van is fixed. What the frig? Oh my goodness, we can actually catch our ferry. <laughs> Guys, we can actually leave. We can actually Philly, leave. Can we leave? No, can let's go. Leave? Let's get to Philly's dad and wash the van. So while Philly and his dad clean the van, I am actually doing some math work. I need a coffee. Guys, we got shit to get done. Oh, hi, Philly. Oh, hello. Hi. I love coming to my dad's to wash the van. When we were kids, every Saturday, dad would wash all of our cars. So now he's washing our van. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you're too good. Um, Philly's dad brought me coffee, so things are looking up, guys. Our van's fixed and I've got coffee. Guys, the start of this video was a heat wave and now it's starting to rain. There you go. Oh, it's nice to see my dad. Second we finish the list, the rain comes on. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, I think we actually have done it. I think we have fulfilled our list. I think that we are ready to go. I think so. Do the honors. Yes, she looks a freaking treat. Insole reversing cam. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. We'll do that in the road. Mechanics. 
guys, our phone's working. Yeah. So good. <laughs> <laughs> What's the month done? The ferry, yes, we leave in two days time, guys, which means all we have to do now is say goodbye to family. That's what we're going to be doing all weekend. And then, guys, we're hitting the road. Come on, where are we going? As you know, we've done like France and Spain and all these places before, and we've decided in this trip, instead of going back to places we've been and fallen in love with, we're going to go to all new places. But we're really nervous because we've heard some of them are very expensive. Okay, so our first place that we haven't been to before, apart from driving through after getting the ferry, is Scotland! Yeah! So we're going to head there on Monday, spend a month going around Scotland, and then beyond Scotland, guys, the plan is for us to go to Scandinavia. Woo! Woohoo! So we're going to go through Netherlands, never been, we're going to Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Norway, all places we've never experienced and traveled together before. So all places that we are really excited about and really need all of your advice. Yes, this is all subject to change. It's very rough, but we'll just make it up as we go along. I'm excited for new adventures and I'm just so ready to leave. I'm just so ready to leave. Guys, it was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. There was a, a little bit of a chug there and now the van is dead again. The turbo is not kicking in. So it looks like it isn't our ETR valve. Something else is clearly wrong with Martha. As Philly said earlier, we're just peeling back, flipping onion layers or what? At I don't know. At some time we have to get to the center of the onion. <laughs> Guys, literally, this means we're not getting our ferry on Monday. This means this is not how we wanted to end this video. This means we can't leave. This van needs fixed. I mean, it's kicked in again now, but... Oh, no, it's not. Um, if anyone out there knows why this might be happening, feel free to let us know in the comments because right now we're kind of at the end of our tether and the rain has started and this all feels very symbolic of my mood right now. But we love you guys. We appreciate you for watching. Join us next week. Don't know where we'll be. Definitely won't be Scotland. We'll see you guys next week. See you next week.